Hey everybody, Paul here, and welcome back to Best Food Review Road Trip. On this channel, we travel the country, eat, and let you come along with us. This is an exciting episode for us because we are back home. We've been on the road for two years. We're back in our hometown, Eugene, Oregon. What is there in Eugene, Oregon, you may ask? Well, let me tell you what there is. You got Hayward Field where you can come see track events that they attract people from all over the world. Or, if you like college football, you can take in an Oregon Ducks game at Austin Stadium. Or you can enjoy a day along the Willamette River in one of the many city parks. Do you like bicycling? Because Eugene has over a hundred miles of dedicated path and bike lanes just to get around town. Well, we are starving and being is how we're back in our hometown. We kind of know some of the places we like to go to and we want to share them with you. So we're going to start today with Mucho Gusto. That's a local place here in Eugene. They have a few other restaurants that they do, but this one is really cool because they do their food a certain way. A certain sandwich shop does it where you get to build your own Mexican dinner. You know what? Let's just go and check it out. Walking into this location, it's bright, it's clean, it's fun, and it's kind of what you might call cafeteria style. So you approach the counter, you're going to choose what you want to eat, like tacos, taco salad, a burrito, and they're actually gonna prepare everything right in front of you so you're watching them make it, and we love it. Because you can tell them, oh, a little bit of this or more of that, and you can watch your meal being made right in front of your eyes. The menu provides a lot of flexibility. You can pretty much get any of your favorite Mexican dishes with your preferred proteins and um, all of your, your toppings, of course, as I mentioned, are gonna be chosen by you as you go through the line. They also offer some fun beverages, including beer. Now, they were at a draft beer, which was so sad, but they did have Modella Especial. Mm. I love this beer, but don't you hate it when this little foil gets stuck on your lip and then you like have like little foil things stuck to your lips? I ordered a taco salad with fried cod. This is just out of the fryer, so it's probably really hot. But this is a nice crispy shell. I ordered one with um, which is flour tortilla. You can get it in wheat. Of course, mine, I came with black beans. I got both cabbage and regular lettuce. A little bit of cheese. I don't like a ton of cheese on my tacos. I know I'm weird. And then this green sauce, this is what they call like mucho sauce. And I think it'd be like a good description would be, it's like medium um, green sauce mixed with probably like sour cream. It's really yummy. I love it. Okay. Here I go. I got no fish in that bite. That's really good. Mm. It's been a couple years since I've eaten here and I've missed it. It's really yummy. It's like Mexican comfort food, but not your traditional Mexican restaurant like we normally go to on the road. This is something special. I got me some hard shell tacos. The cool thing is, is because I got two tacos, I can get them different flavors, right? Check this out. So this bottom one here, I can't even tell by looking here. Okay, this is the carnitas, this is the pork. And I'm gonna just give it a little try. Mmm, mmm. That is so good, it's juicy, it's not like spicy or anything. You can add, I mean, it's a little bit Mexican spicy, but not hot at all. This is the cool one right here, actually. This one's got all that mucho sauce, got lettuce. I put cheese on both of them. Um, I put jalapenos, cilantro, but this has tofu. And I absolutely love their tofu here. Mm. Lettuce soak, oh my goodness. That mucho sauce. That is some good stuff, man, but I'm gonna take a bite of my whole taco here. So we'll start with the tofu taco. Look how big that is, guys. This is just super massive. Mm. 
Mmm. Those taco shells are, they have, they must make them here fresh. They're flaky, they're delicious, they're not at all, like, look at this. These are not stale, they've not been sitting around. Wonderful. Let's try this carnitas. Hmm. That is the juiciest taco. If I didn't have that over a plate, I would have worn all of it. It was so good. Now mine, it comes with beans and rice. I can select my beans. I chose black beans. Um, and the chips, yeah. They're not at all mushy or gross. Mm. Those black beans are a little bit spicy, but they're delicious. Amy likes to get fish tacos. I like fish tacos too. I'm not as much into the breaded ones, but sometimes they're really good. Let's see. Mm. Hmm. I find it funny. We've been on the Oregon coast for the last several weeks. We come into Eugene, we go to a Mexican place, and Amy orders fish tacos. Amy must really like her fish. I gotta say though, that fish is delicious. And the salad? Mmm. If you're gonna eat a salad, that's a way to do it. Look at that, tacos falling apart. Did you get red salsa with that? No, I got with the mucho. tofu. No, it comes with it comes. Oh, it's made, cooked. And, yeah, oh, so it's cooked yeah. in this red salsa, mm -hmm. and it has kind of a smoky flavor to it. It's really good, but I want to try the carnitas now. Okay, let me just see if I can take a bite without spilling all over myself. Two completely different flavor profiles, but both of them are yummy. The did you did you put lime on your on no. the carnitas? No. It has like a very citrusy flavor to whatever they are braising it in. It's yummy. And the rice and beans. Now I got beans in my um, in my salad, so I didn't choose to get this rice, but. Mm. That's so much better. That is so much better than the typical like Mexican restaurant bean goo that they get. Like this is, it's better. And sometimes you order black beans and they feel like they just poured them out of a can and rinsed them off and stirred them up with something. This is like, these are really, really good. Well, what did we think of Mucho Gusto? We love it. We already knew we were gonna love it. We've eaten here several times before when we lived here. We love that it's fresh. You can see them making your food. There's no question about it. Delicious. If you're in Eugene, swing into Mucho Gusto and check it out. If you guys like this video, make sure to give it a thumbs up, subscribe to the channel, ring the bell, but most importantly, shoot us a comment. We'd love to hear from you. Make sure to give uh, to your local, whatever kind of food bank you have. We've actually added a link in the description below in case you don't know where to look. It'll help you find any sort of a uh, resource in your area. Until we eat together again, guys, stay classy. Oh,